Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody there? <clears throat> it is 22.55, 5 to 11 UK time, PM. Heading towards the witching hour. This is your psychic gal, Jay, reporting live from Newcastle upon Tyne. Can anybody hear me? Hello, hello. Are you there? Knock once for yes, twice for no. Hello, hello. Am I live? Hi there. I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you all are around the world. Knock, knock. Who's there? This is your psychic algae. <laughs> I sound a bit croaky because I had lost my voice last week. Well, through the week. How are you all doing? Hi, everybody. Let's get my crystal ball. Thank you, Anne. I wait for people to come on. I'm actually in a bit of pain. <laughs> I've got, I've been doing my exercises. Um, I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. I might have to be drained. I know that sounds a bit gross. But I'm doing okay. I've been doing exercises and resting and... <coughs> I've got a bit of a tickly cough. But apart from that, I'm okay. Oh yes, all the wheels to stage. I'm back, guys. I'm still here. So I'm just waiting for results to come through from the doctors um, to move forward with this little bit of a situation that I've had. Um, but I'm doing okay. I feel so much better uh, since the gremlin's been cut out. And um, I've been a bit quiet on social media because I've been resting. It took a lot out of his, the operation. It really did. But I've been done. I've been definitely looking at stuff online and watching everything. And does my voice sound a bit better? It does, doesn't it? Well, actually, you would have laughed because I was shouting at Adam, and I lost my voice. My mother said it's called Parsons' throat when you lose your voice. <laughs> um, and then it it went completely away. And then I was, I put some bleach in some hot water today to wash the floors, and the steam from the beat the bleach. Started off again, I started to like tickly cough. I've become so sensitive with everything since I've stopped smoking. But I'm back, guys, and um, as promised, I said I would keep you updated. Um, everything will be changing once I get into a routine, and I will be doing afternoon shows. And, um, but I came on tonight to tell you where I'm at and we're going to do a quick look into this for you. I also want to talk about one of my lovely clients. I'll wait for people to come on. One of my lovely clients, followers, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name properly because uh, it's French, but she's called Chantal Arsenault. Arsenault? I believe that's French surname, Canadian. Um, sadly, over the Easter weekend, a boyfriend's son, Ben Wo, Ben Wo, I'll say Ben. Apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Ben. 
uh, was in a collision. So awful. He was only 23, God love him. With his girlfriend in the car and collided with a drunken driver who was speeding and he sadly lost his life. And I just want to give a shout out to Chantal's boyfriend, Steve, which is Ben's father. I don't know the name of Ben's mother, but we are going to be praying for you tonight. It's going to be Ben's funeral tomorrow. They live in Canada. And this is what this community is about. It's about we all coming together and doing prayers as well. So um, we are praying for you all to Ben's mum, Steve, Ben's dad, and to Chantel Arsenal. Um, life is so short. And his girlfriend, Alexandra, is in a critical state in the hospital, so we need to pray for Alexandra tonight as well, um, that she makes it. She doesn't know her boyfriend's past. It's so sad. Like I said, the veil is very thin, guys, and it seems as if it's just the good guys what's getting hurt at the moment. And we are being so majorly tested. But I just want to send a big... Shout out to Chantal Arsenault, a boyfriend Steve. Your boy's okay, he's in the light. He's in the light. And I believe that, obviously he wasn't prepared to go. I don't believe that he felt anything. I believe Ben exited his body, he jumped out of his body very quickly. He's around his mum tonight. And then he goes to his girlfriend his girlfriend's bedside and he's with his dad. I do believe that Alexandra will make it. Um, but she's in critical. I believe she's lost an eye. It's awful. Um, <clears throat> but she's critical, fighting for her life tonight. So we're going to send healing out to Alexandra that she makes it. There was no pain with Ben. I believe that he just jumped out of his body. It was that quick. I don't believe... if he, I feel if he'd stayed in his body, he wouldn't have been the same Ben. But tonight he stands with his mum and his dad. And I send prayers out to them all. And, and to Chantal, and to Chantal as well, Ben's stepmom. It's a sad time for your boyfriend and boyfriend's ex-partner, Ben's mom tomorrow, but we'll all be thinking about you at Ben's funeral. And we are all sending in this community tonight, we are sending healing to you all at this sad time. And also to dear Alexandra that she makes it. And that's it really. Um, it's called death in the wrong order when your children go before you. And it's unimaginable what Ben's mum's going through tonight. And dad. But Chantal with love and support he will be okay steve will be okay it's just going to take time it's a shock it's not a normal grief so i've come on tonight because it's the eclipse and um people are all talking about oh my god is there going to be a rapture is there going to be something what's going to happen and i'm going to look into this for you tonight guys so, excuse me if I keep doing this. That's as far as I can straighten my arm at the moment. I nearly rang 111 last night because my arm had gone bright red. But I'm going to the hospital in the morning and um, I'm going to get the, the nurse and the doctor to have a look at it. So I've, I've been doing the exercises. I've been really good. But it's, um, it's a strange one. <laughs> 
if anybody who doesn't know what's happened to us, I had uh, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had that removed last Monday, and I had a um, a suction mastectomy. Um, where they flapped it open to keep the outside of my breast, and then they took fat from my sides of my tummy and my back. My back's completely flat. I wondered why I was. I couldn't lie. I don't know where to lie. I'm, I feel like I've been trampled over by a load of hoofs <laughs> from donkeys. You know, I'm so all over. And it's amazing what they've done, and then they've put it all put it all back together again. He's molded it and made us a new one, but it's gone. So I'm just waiting for the results back from my lymph nodes. Um. So please, praise prayers please um i'm trying to keep upbeat but i do feel really good um i would say that i feel ill like this being when it's been removed the gremlin that a lot of negativity has been taken away from us i have been using castor oil but obviously with an with a wound you've got to keep it dry um and guys, I only lost 50 mils. Was it 50 mils? 50 mils of blood within the the surgery. That's really good, isn't it? Um, so I feel really strong. I feel really strong. I feel there's light at the end of the tunnel there. Um, and I'm just taking it day by day. Day by day. But it, I would say that, I'll not lie to you guys, it's been a very emotional journey for us. And I've weeped and weeped a lot. Apparently, it's quite common after a major operation. I don't know if there's anybody in the audience who's been the same. Um, but I've just looked at it. It's like I've been having a reset. That's the way I look at it at. I don't smoke anymore. Um, I eat really healthy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, onwards and upwards. To me, I just didn't want to do it. I woke up and I just thought, I'm not going to tempt fate. Even though all the cigarettes wasn't the situation, what caused it in the first place. It was because um, I was diagnosed with HER2, positive breast cancer. And it's hormonal driven. Because apparently I was still producing estrogen, even though I'm in the menopause. <laughs> so it was too much estrogen. Uh, so that would possibly will be the therapy well I'll be on afterwards to block all of that um but I didn't want to tempt fate I thought you know that surgeon's gonna done a good job and that man saved my life and I didn't want to this is like the start of my new life so there's no way and to be honest I've smelt it since on people and it knocks us sick so I really feel like I'm turning a corner there as well I can taste my food it's great um of course you know I have been very bad tempered I'll not lie to you apparently what did Adam say I was like a raging lunatic the first week <laughs> um but I, I really do feel good I really um so, Cat Manor, I'm on hormonal blockers now myself. Yes, there's quite a lot of ladies on these, isn't there? So, it's hormones, guys. That's what did it. But, yeah, I don't smoke anymore. And um, I've got no need to do it either. You know, so I would say that I'm definitely, I've definitely turned a corner there. This strange thing happened before we start and I do the prayers. I went into a trance, uh, you know, when you just started to go off to sleep. And I see visions when I just start to go off to sleep. And I was standing in an ancient cave. Just got a drink of tea. I'll tell you this, it's really interesting. I was standing in this ancient cave and it reminded us of that, like the Aztecs of the the writings on the wall. It was so weird. And it was an empty, washed out cave. And I was, I felt familiar in this cave. I was really there. I was in this cave. It was a huge cave. And 
I walked around and I seen all Egyptian writing on the wall and the Aztecs was there and hydroglyphics and there was definitely galactic writing on the wall and even going back to cavemen and before, you know, it was a really ancient cave. And then I realised I was standing in my armpit where he took the lymph nodes out. I had travelled within my body. Um, if anybody doesn't know us, I do galactic operations with little Zachar. He's an insecticide being. And um, I had actually minified myself down and gone into me. And I was in my ancient cave underneath in this area. And it felt hollow. It felt worn out. And then little Zachar came in and came along, little Zachar. And he gave us some beautiful colours of blue and silver and gold and pink. All these beautiful colours and mint green. And we were just throwing the colours into the cave and it was splashing against the wall. And I just felt great. And then I, as I came to, I felt like a tingling around this area. It's as if that I had had some sort of interdimensional, with the help of Zachar and the beings that I work with, they had helped me to do that. And they had showed me, they had done it, but they showed me what they were doing. So I believe I'm, I'm going to travel back into that cave and I don't claim to know everything. I believe, I've, I tell this when I do sessions on people, that every time I do a session, I'll learn something else. And, you know, it triggered something from a past life. But I believe that I was seeing my Akashics, part of my Akashics on this cave wall. <laughs> it was just so real. It was It was just amazing. So, yeah, that's where I'm at at the minute. I'm having a reset. So before we start, don't forget to hit the like and share if you want. And this is like coming to a spiritualist church. And I'm so overwhelmed with all the beautiful messages that you've been sending us. Apologies if I got back straight away. I am still doing readings, guys. Um, My job really helps us. And like I say, I don't feel poorly. I've just been in pain since the operation, but I'm getting there. I'm literally getting there. They've, they've given us a list of exercises to do. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at at the minute. So I'm at the hospital in the morning to um, possibly, I think I'll be getting a, a drain done again because I feel like I've got like a bit of a golf ball underneath my armpit at the minute. But I've, apart from that, I feel really good. I can taste my food. I'm sleeping better. Um you know, visions, the pineal gland, the psychic mind, you know, eye is just through the roof now. And I feel like I'm working on a different level. Um, now, I don't know if that's the change of the diet, the experience I've gone through, because I hit a very dark night of the soul. Back in December, January, I had to have, you know, face fears, face everything. So I don't know if I've had like a massive, I think I've had a shift, I would say. So it's happening to everybody with different, not saying the same as what I've gone through, but everyone's gone through it in different experiences. So for new people coming in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ring the bell and I'm going to um, invoke the angels in and some, some of my guides. And then we are going to form the circle of light and we are going, if you need prayers, this is for anybody who needs prayers of protection if you're worried about any person, persons, animals, yourself, any situation, write the name in the comment section. You can do it in the stream. You can do it after in the comment section and you will receive healing. I can't believe people in this audience, what they're saying, that they've gone through similar to me. But it's just so lovely to see you. And a big thumbs up and a thank you to all the moderators. Thank you, Jodie Lass. <laughs> the Akashic Records is so interesting. I do do Akashic Records, guys. Um, I do them privately and I do shaman sessions. 
Um, but yeah, I, you know, you can't actually sit in. I've never actually sat and done myself my Akashic records. But I, um, I was shown it. I was definitely shown it on the caves of this wall. It was just... The cave was huge. So, uh, you know, I, I now know I'm an old soul. <laughs> Hello there, Marina. And the cats, my cats are playing in the background. We had lost the electronic mouse. What you plug into the computer charges up. And it's been, it whizzes around and they play with it. And we found it. My daughter-in-law found it this afternoon. So they're now playing with our little electronic mouse. So they're very happy. We've got Zizi who is in, she's been in heat season. Is it called season? Um, I had a little bit of it to do with her. I had to take her to the, the vets because I found a burn mark on the back of her neck. And I had put flea drops on the back of the neck and I had I thought what the hell it was like a, it burned through it was like a circle and it had scorched and took away a, a lovely black fur so she was crying as well and it was going on all night it was like she was crying like whoa whoa like, like really screaming and I thought good god she's in pain so I rushed her along to the vets the next morning and he said oh no he said it's an allergic reaction to the flea drop I said well why is she crying she said she's, she's in season. She's calling out for the toms. So um, I had put the girls off from getting spayed because of my carry-on. So I'm going to get them in soon. Yeah, so um, when she was crying and they were crying back in the garden and apparently the queens call the toms. I didn't know that. The, the little hussies, the, the cats. She... Um, so she's making out all these screeching noises and I'm thinking, good God, I couldn't get to sleep. And uh, the toms were in the garden. There was three toms in the garden howling back. So they, they must hear them through the wall. So the vet said, if she gets out, she'll come back pregnant. Um, so them, they'll be getting done soon. So that should be fun games. You can opt for them coming out with a... A thing around their neck, which I'll not get, or the little baby grows, so I'll probably get the little baby grows for them to put on. They look so cute. There's so many people battling with addiction, isn't there? So your black cat screams in season as well. It's terrible, isn't it? So I thought that it was the Toms who were being naughty because they were coming in the garden and spraying in the garden and everything. And it's actually the females what tease the Toms. <laughs> Such is life, that's nature. Okay, let's start. I invoke Archangel Michael. I invoke Archangel Michael. I invoke Archangel Michael. I invoke Archangel Raphael, I invoke Archangel Raphael, I invoke Archangel Raphael. <clears throat> I invoke Archangel Gabriel, let's try this song because I'm supposed to put it up. I invoke Archangel Gabriel, I invoke Archangel Gabriel. I invoke Archangel Uriel, I invoke Archangel Uriel, I invoke Archangel Uriel. I ask my faithful spirit guides, Jed, White Buffalo, Running Star, Lady Direwolf, A to I, and Ra, to come forth to give us true answers tonight, healing and protection in the circle of light. A prayers for anybody who needs it. Any star beings who want to telecommunicate. <clears throat> Spirit world, angelic realm, fairy elementals, animal kingdom. Literally anybody who would like to come forth to give us true answers tonight. With love and light, love and light, love and light. 
Amen. There we go. Okay, let me get some tea. <coughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> right, so I've been completely... I've been watching stuff. I've been watching David Wilcox stuff and that. But I haven't really been taking much notice of everything. So I'm going to look into the crystal ball. I'm going to do some raw remote viewing into the crystal ball. And then afterwards, maybe so you can ask us some questions about any situations that the ball doesn't pick up on. What do you think about that? Right, so I'll get my cards as well for that. I've just got a normal British cup of tea. I've got a PG tips tonight. <laughs> I do drink herbal tea. I've been drinking that sour sap stuff, but it's I'm not really keen on it, but I have been drinking it. But I like my uh, Chinese tea and my Japanese tea. Um, I can't remember the one I have, but it's really, really nice. It's been rather a nice day over here, but it's been very windy. So what I'll do is after this, after this, I'll put a link in the description of the video. This is to people on YouTube where you can contact us either by email or Facebook and messages there if you would like a reading and then I can get you booked in. I'm taking bookings for May and June. Okay. Um, uh, yes, me. Can you can get yours in for me? Um, I've got Yorkshire tea as well. That's rather nice as well. Right. So I'm gonna keep using my pulley on and keep doing that because I've got to. I've got to do that. You're watching us do me exercises. I've got to like go up the wall. But when I first got it done, you know, I could put my arm right up and now it's gone really stiff. But I keep doing it. I've been really good. I've been doing what they've been saying us to do. Doing that. <clears throat> right. Let's see. Let's wait for this to haze over. Okay. I'm getting that song. Oh my God. Many a tear has to fall, but it's all in the game. Who sung that? It's from the 50s, wasn't it? Hmm. I think there's just a lot of grief at the moment, isn't there? We're in the year of deception. We're in the year of everything coming out. Now, recently, there's been an earthquake. Is that right? Was it New York? Where was it? Parts of the US had an earthquake. I think they're just rumbles. I believe that there possibly could be more. Oh, there's some big news coming in around Miami and Hawaii. I think we're going to have a very eventful year, guys. Just waiting for it to haze over. Right, I was given this recently, right, when I've been, because I've been doing a lot of meditation and I'm getting it again. I actually told this to a client the other day. We are all due huge downloads. And there's a shift what's happened. And I think it's going to happen around about the eclipse. Is that tomorrow? All right, so it's happening in the collective. And when we get these huge downloads, they're coming in in codes. I've already had mine. I've talked to somebody else the other day and they've had theirs. 
the, and I talked about this, I think it was on my show the last time I was on, and the chords look, they're very sort of, it's definitely physics, and it's, um, I didn't understand them, and I said to them, I, I said to the star beings and the, the angels what gave us them, why I can't understand these, and they said it doesn't matter, they'll absorb into you, and they'll come out in your way. So what I'm getting is, <clears throat> I'm getting this tonight, that we are all due big, don't be surprised if you start getting strange dreams or contact. Now when I talk about contact, it could it's interdimensional contact, so you could get it through dream state or meditation. But we are all due big downloads, and that means that we're going to start to work at our full potential this year and next year. This is if you want it. Because not everybody, remember that everybody is on this journey for different reasons. So what I believe what this solar eclipse is going to do is, it's going to give you a clarity, but it also could cause chaos for some people. Because then you've got the hysteria what comes in, where you've got people saying, oh, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And yeah, I mean, where it affects us, it can affect the collective and it can also affect world events. Okay, when I talk about world events, I doubt that, I mean, it's possible that it could cause earthquakes and volcano eruptions and stuff like that, but I'm getting more to do with politics, like crazy stuff to come out there. Okay, but I'm, as I'm talking this, I'm also getting the sea, and the sea gets affected by planets, and like the moon affects the sea as well so it's possible that i want to look at the seabed so i know that there's a fault which lies underneath is it the east coast of america there could be crazy weather there could be hurricanes storm alert that type of thing but i would say on the whole it's more about we're getting downloads we are going to start to work at our full potential so there's a split happening and it's it's not where we are going to physically notice it. It's more about people are going to start feeling different. So my, I recommend that we just try to keep grounded around about that time. Stay in nature, use your crystals, eat well. Don't panic about it, it will be fine. Is it the West Coast, is it? But where there's been an earthquake, there could be more. Um, I've, this is, remember, guys, this is for entertainment purposes only. But this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm psychically seeing, okay? So there, there is fault lines there. There could be more rumbles. More rumbles. But I was watching this documentary on YouTube last night about the amount of crime what's taking place in New York City at the moment. And it was something to do with, um, you know, when they take over people's houses? Where they just move in and take over people's houses because it's lawless over in New York? I think it's going to get to a state of emergency over there. It possibly could. Squatters. Because it's a lot of, they, they protect the squatters' rights and stuff like that. So I am, and then there's a lot of looters happening and people are shutting their businesses down in certain uh, department stores and stuff like that. So I feel that there could be a state of emergency, but I'm actually looking more at May, June there. Okay. So remember, everything's shifting, everything's rising. Um, I do see tube stations and I do worry I don't know why I'm getting something about an incident around tube stations. So there is tube stations there in New York, isn't there? I've seen this before where people are running and there's like smoke and that. So I don't actually know what that is in rubble. I feel like I need to send healing and protection out to New York. It's like New York needs to be saved, guys. She needs protection. I don't know what the hell's going on with the laws over there. But they need to change quickly. Otherwise, there will be no New York. 
New York is in trouble. And if you think about it, it's like the pinnacle point of one of the, you know, places in the United States of America. If you go back through history, you know, the guys on Titanic, they were going to New York. There's going to be riots there. There's going to be a lot of problems. State of emergency. And I see a lot of soldiers on the streets. It might have to get worse before it gets better. And it's sad really, isn't it? I know there's a lot of Brits um, travel over there. And I mean, I'm planning on going there at some point. Um, ah, it's... Um, but the crime rate's really, really bad. I'm getting the 6th and the 7th. What date are we now? Now, that could also be the 6th month June, or it could be the 7th month July, or it could be the 6th or the 7th of May. I really don't know. But remember the 6th and the 7th, the 21st, the 29th. I'm seeing like a, an explosion. It reminds us of the situation to do with the the tower situation. The twin tower situation. Um And I'm also getting the 17th. In the 11th. I'm getting a very strange feeling. And I'm seeing JFK coming out of this crystal ball tonight. Big changes to take place on the 13th. And I've got this before. The 12th is going to play a pinnacle point. The 12th of April. When's that? When's the 12th of April? It's next Friday, isn't it? I don't know what the planet alignment is around the 12th. But maybe somebody in the comment section might know. They can put it in there. Yeah, New York's feeling it. So for anybody who's in this audience who lives in New York, please don't stress. Obviously, stay vigilant. You must, you must know what's going on. I have dear clients what live over there. Where am I seeing GFK? I don't know where I'm getting Long Island. And I see lots of water. Lots of water. Problems with lots of water. I'm also seeing a, a ship in a harbour. It looks like a posh yacht. Arrests will be made. The fourth. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting them. Um, e P S T I E N. Weird. I wonder why I'm getting him. just two minutes <coughs> actually this is good exercise for my arm holding that I should do that I need some weights don't I need some weights ouch Ooh. dear me two minutes Right, I see GFK's face again and it's like there's worry there and it's around Donald Trump. Worry. It's like he's trying to put protection around him. It's 
see what I get here. I'm getting the Bermuda Triangle. I've had this before. The Bermuda Revent. The Bermuda Revent. They're giving us that. The 11th will go down in history and it will um, bring forth great news. Remember that. Sometimes I can't read a year out. There's a lot of things unfolding, as you know. And we've got this thing, what's going on with that rapper Diddy. Is it P. Diddy or whatever he's called? Um, mm, I might have to pull the cards out on that. I think there's more shocks to come out with all of that, you know, guys. It's, it's just going to open a big hornet's nest. A big hornet's nest. But you do know that he's not really the kingpin. There's more involved. You know. Macron. He will make some big news. And I don't know why I'm getting the Eiffel Tower. Do you remember that time when there was that. Was it Notre Dame? And there was that strange incident. Was it a fire? And then there was that strange figure scene. People were putting it up on the internet. It looked like a ghostly figure in Notre Dame. There's more. In, there's another incident like that to come out again. I'm getting that song. I'm getting songs tonight. Oh my god. Carried away by the moonlight shadow. What was that song? There's, there's lyrics in this. There's a message in that song. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Carried away by the moonlight shadow. What's that song? Mm. Moon shadow. Let me get the lyrics up to that. Give us two minutes. Lyrics. It was from the 80s, wasn't it? Oh my god, guys. I've gotta read the I've gotta read the lyrics. I don't know if this is the right song. Who sung Moon Shadow? Was it Cat Stevens? Right. Yes, I'm being followed by a moon shadow. Leaping and hopping on a moon shadow. Something's going on with the moon, maybe? And if I ever lose my hands, lose my... Good God, I need glasses. Lose my plough, lose my land. Or if I ever lose my hands, or if I... If I won't have to work no more. And if I ever lose my eyes. If my colours will run dry. Yes if I ever lose my eyes. Or if I won't have to cry no more. Yes I'm being followed by the moon shadow. And it just goes on about like losing their legs and everything. What the blinking hacks this about. And if I ever lose my mouth or my teeth, north and south, yes, if I ever lose my mouth or if I won't, I have to talk. Did it take long to find me? I asked the faithful light. Interesting. Or did it take long to find me and are you going to stay the night? I wonder what that means. Maybe is something going to happen around the moon or the full moon or moon shadow. When's the next full moon, guys? It's eclipse. Moon shadow eclipse. Good God. Lose, lose my eyes. Yes, it's the eclipse. Wait, wait a minute. 
carried away by the moonlight shadow. See lots of sailors. An event in the sea. What they're trying to do to Donald Trump at the minute, this is something else that they're trying to take him to court for. Because there's going to be a spin on this. We need to wish on this eclipse. That's what we need to do. Moon shadow. Solar eclipse. We need to wish tomorrow. I see the, the Belarus, the leader of Belarus, is it the Prime Minister or I see, I see his face and I see Putin's face and I see some big explosive news to come out there. Where there'll be news what will come forth from Europe, which could be France or Europe. It's escalating from something to do with Russia. And then they're trying to set things in place for all different countries. And the UK is up in arms about it. And America's up in arms about it. And France is up. There's going to be more riots to come. And it's like putting restrictions on humanity. That's what I'm being shown here. It's, it's another event coming off. It's The last time I got this was to do with the... Uh, the virus situation and it's a restriction it's it's a different type of restriction to what we had the last time but it's going to be short-lived then i see an explosion in c remember it's all the transition what's taken place across the globe it's the gold war what we're in it's all about control. The, a three-way triangular event. I've talked about this before. Like, don't look over there. Look over there. So it's these things are literally happening. But it's, it's events. To stop, we're looking at the bigger picture. There is a transition taking place. I keep getting a lot of satellites... And they're manoeuvring in the new technology onto the earth plane. The new technology is coming in. The new internet which will take place. This could be announced by 2025. It's a new super wave of technology. But whatever restrictions is coming. And as I say that I get number nine. We have to stand strong and not panic. And I've always said this. Go inside and shut the door. We have to take empowerment back tomorrow and we have to light our candles or do what we need to do. So not to panic. It's a, it's a transition what's taking place. Get into meditation state and you're going to start getting huge downloads to come in. Watch the skies, guys. But like I said, a lot of these objects, UFO, UFOs that you could be seeing out there, it doesn't always mean that it, they're being flown by extraterrestrials. There's a lot of high-tech <coughs> technology, excuse me, what's coming in, which has been held back from them. And it's the, you know, Galactic Federation isn't just extraterrestrials, I believe it's Space Force. It's all happening. I want to say that there's a lot of secret operations which are still taking place. Uh, there, there's a big cleanup happening. And I said this a few years back. It, it's going to take a while for this big cleanup to happen. You know, from trafficking and all sorts of awful things, what's happening in the dark underworld. But it's a cleanup what's happening across the planet. But we will be faced with some sort of edge of the seat situation. And this, I'm not saying this is going to happen tomorrow. I could be looking, you know, it's, I feel it's happening this year. There's a lot of events to take place before the next elections. Yeah. 
And um, I predict that the next US election is going to be very explosive. Bigger than it was the last time. But history will repeat itself. But all eyes on the UK as well, because I think there's a lot of explosive stuff to come out there as well. And I think Rushi Sunak's not going to be in there for much longer. Somebody here has just asked here in the audience about um, Emerald Light, about the tunnels, is it? Or somebody was asking about tunnels. Oh yeah, Dwayne. Uh, is that explosions taking place? And I believe so, yes. But they're also building a lot of tunnels for the future technology as well. So it's not all bad what's happening. They've been building these. I talked about that Magway. It's um, a company where they're connecting Europe and the UK and everything. So um, you can check that out. That's on YouTube. Just put in Magway. And it's future technology of shoots transporting sort of uh, shopping and stuff like that instead of being sent in lorries they're sending it through chutes underground through these tunnels so a lot of these explosions and booms that you've been here in the U in the US is because the building underneath the, the cities underneath I'm not so sure what's going on with the sounds in the sky mind that's another thing altogether but it'll be um a lot of things will be masked and hidden from where. Masked and hidden. This talks that sometimes they, they're disguised as clouds, some of these uh, spaceships, you know what I mean? Um, there's all sorts of things happening, isn't there? Um but I, I do believe the technology that we've got now with the iPhones and as we start to ascend, we're going to start to be allowed to see all of this. Remember, that cannot be stopped. This great spiritual awakening cannot be stopped. I do believe that Elon Musk is a good guy. I don't believe he's a bad guy. I believe he's playing his part on Earth to do what he needs to do. Um, but I know he's been wanting to do all this stuff for Mars, but he's going to be doing greater stuff for Earth. And he's going to step in at some point and help Earth. I always got like an extraterrestrial energy with Musk, you know. I'm not saying he's an AT, but he's, um, he's definitely different. <laughs> Should I say? He's definitely different. I always get a valiant Thor energy with him. But uh, there'll be a new internet which will, and it goes beyond Starlink. Satellites are being put up there now. Got a weird feeling about E P S T E I N. The reason I'm uh, spelling this out. For algorithms and stuff like that, which you're not allowed to talk about. But I get a weird feeling about him tonight, guys. A very weird feeling. And he's accomplished, which was taken down. There's going to be some big news with her. Maxwell. Watch for hearing of that. Tree of life. It's going through a transition. It's going to be a problem with the dollar. I see a lot of cargo ships which will be blocked in seas. And I'm getting the Middle East again. There's more problems coming in. Syria. Afghanistan. More problems to arise. When the man stands on world screen. And he's got like. Um, looks like something from the Taliban or something like that. He's got like one of them. Cloths around his head. But I don't get a good vibe about it. It will be um, a great distraction. I want you to remember that. So I don't get anything majorly dramatic tomorrow. I get it's more about... Um, there could be some power cuts. 
parts of the US. Storms. See which the eclipse could, but it doesn't mean it's directly on the 8th. It could result from the 8th. Stir up the ocean. But we need to grab our power tomorrow. People have asked us about soon, Sherry, who's asking in Twitch. Um, what do you see about that? Soon's one of many. There's more. There's more than that. You know what I mean? Um, and I said this a little while ago. I think it was about a year ago. I said that they've been messing on with some black matter, and it opens something you know it's sort of like let monsters loose so a bit like stranger things with the upside down world type of thing that's what i believe what's been going on uh, but there's more than that there's more than just there they're all over the place definitely a change in the dollar there's going to be problems with the us dollar there will be a crash bitcoin's going to go on the rise it's more about a massive spiritual ascension and leap. Clarity. I'm not saying it's like a load of we feel like we've took ayahuasca, but it depends on you as a person and what level you are at. But you can make you can make the eclipse energy to what you want. Does that make sense? But you need to grab a hold of these superpowers which are coming in. Um, keep grounded. I don't know why I'm getting it's all marked in our DNA. Everything's marked. Everything's linked within our DNA. We are the hybrids. Problems with borders, again, it's coming up. Just move this a bit. Just reading some of your comments. Geordie Lass, she's putting here on Twitch. Moon shadow means an angel that can fly with preschool's wings and also the shadow of the moon cats on Earth during an eclipse. Yeah, it's angelic tomorrow. Well, I want to say it's very angel and demons. So don't feed into the negative. Feed into the positive. Does that make sense? Again, it's like practicing the law of attraction. So I don't see any massive direct links tomorrow. It's more after the, the days rolling off from the 8th. The Native Americans believed what Maggie's put here, staying inside and purified and prayed during eclipses. Yeah. Keeping your faith. I know I'll be staying positive. I mean, I'm going through my own journey, you know, but um, trying to stay positive, should I say. We only can do our best. But try not to get triggered about a lot of stuff what's getting out there on the internet. It doesn't mean that, it, you know, the world's going to end or anything nasty is going to happen. No, it's not. Problems with the railway line. I know there was a lot of problems with the old railway lines in the US. There's going to be more, there's something else to do with the train here. Talking about trains, I also get... Northern Railway, is it? The railways over here in the UK, there could be problems there as well. And I still feel scandals to come out with the UK, with councils. I see the NHS could be in problems and trouble. Um, there's some big scandal to come out with the Tory government. And a swindling of money. Riots, I see, taking place in more to come in Ireland. And, of course, recently we've had the 
the problem about uh, is it free speech in Scotland and Canada? We've had all that carry on hoo ha happening. That's going to get worse as well. I don't feel it's going to be so much as a rapture. I don't think the rapture is a physical event. Um, I've talked about this before. Uh, the rapture apparently has been predicted at least five times on plus. It's not the rapture is that we're getting sucked off earth. We are, remember, we are spirit beings in a meat suit. So the rapture is, I believe, is spiritual ascension. It's when you can start to time jump and see other, not just this physical reality. And once you start to spiritually ascend, you can go into other realms. But we are programmed to also be here. So it's going into new earth. It's not where we're going to be sucked off earth. It's a case that we are creating, we are our own creators. That's what I believe the rapture is. Remember, there's hidden codes in the Bible. In everything, there's hidden codes. You've got to read between the lines. But there'll be some Christians out there which will disagree with us. But my take on it is that we're not going to be sucked off earth at all. I believe that we can exit at any point once you get to that we can in and out, we can jump in and out, and we are our own creators. So when Mo was it Moses went missing, or was it Jesus went missing? I always get mixed up between the two of them. When they went into the mountains and they went missing for so many days. So they were rapturing, they disappeared and come back again. Because once you push this and you, you go so far with ascension, I'm not saying it liquidizes your body, but we are magical beings and you can actually time start time jumping. So I don't believe, like Kat Mana says here, it's the eclipse is not an ending, it's a new beginning of new earth. Don't feed in, like I put out in my last podcast, don't feed into the fear. You know, take back your control. That's what it's about. Does that make sense? Yeah, 40 days in the wilderness, wasn't it? It's a new birth in what we're going through. So if you don't feed into the fear, you're going to start to get great downloads. Feel different. And we're going to be absolutely fine, do you know what I mean? But there will be events rushing up towards the next election. There may be, people have asked us, will it go ahead? I think it will go ahead. There may be a stall on it. I don't think it's going to bring peace to the United States of America. 2028 will be map the big turnaround, not this next one. It's a burden. We've got to take the control. I don't know why I'm getting something about diamonds smuggling tonight. Something about diamonds coming out, or diamonds, or... In bank robbers, maybe this is something big to happen in the US or something, something to come out. And I keep seeing that crazy guy, what was supposed to have died, E-P-S-T-E-I-N. I don't know why I'm seeing him and he keeps coming out. Something huge to come out with the Oscars as well. So... Yeah, nobody's immune to anything, but like like I say, we're living in very biblical times and there's a lot of um, seedy stuff to be and Hollywood's going to be exposed with a lot of stuff as well. It's just the surface with Diddy, you know. It, it's going to go far deeper. There's three major names to come out with this. Main names. <clears throat> Big news to do with the British actor. Um, could be shocks with that. 
you know who else I'm getting as well. Philip Schofield. I know he went, there was all the scandal to do with him and then it's just all gone quiet. There's going to be some big news with him to come out again. I'm also getting a, a blonde haired actress or a celebrity in the US and the UK as well. So watch for some big news there. There's something about diamonds and um, bank robbers or diamond robbery or something. There's something big to come out there. Oh, I'm seeing a lovely dolphin. Problems with the dolphins in the sea. Um, I look at the ocean. And I'm getting like a dead feeling. I've had this before. Any massive problems for Earth will come from the ocean. You know how there's been over the years, the last couple of years, about in Intel, it's about that there's certain bad guys are going to get arrested and it's all going to come out. And I've never maintained that. I've always said, you know, I've never gone along with what other people have said, Maggie. But what I'm getting tonight is, and I'm getting this really strong, there is some big names to come out. But I'm, you know, we're living on Earth and it's not a fair Earth, is it? You know, and I think that what you've got to understand is, if people get away with things here, they don't get away with things when they go over and meet their maker. But I would say that there is quite a few names to come out, but not what others have said. Do you know what I mean? How others, others have said, oh, some people are assassinated on the RTR and they've got to get more and all of that. I don't get that. But what I do get is that... Um, I don't believe it's going to play out the way what people have said. Do you know what I mean? But I believe that you just got to... I think sometimes it's when you let it go, that's when the truth starts coming out. The truth starts coming out. Yeah, I had this strange thing. I have to tell you this, you know, you're going to you're gonna think. People are going to go off it when I say this. But I got it really strong from Spirit last night. I was watching an interview with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. <laughs> it was an old one. It was when they were debating, you know, when he won the election. Was it 2016? And they were debating and that. And I got this funny vibe that at some point in their life they've had a thing together, you know. I'm seriously telling you. Could have been when they were younger. But something's happened between them at some point. Did they not used to be friends? I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's now, but I'm just saying at some point something happened between them two. Could have been when they were a lot younger. <clears throat> like I say, what is per perceived to be true on news it's all a movie, do you know what I mean? They used to be friends, didn't they? And Trump donated to the Clintons politically, yeah. Well, something has gone on between them two at some point. I feel it has. Yeah, but she likes men too, Trish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you haven't heard the last of Hillary Clinton. Oh, what's this? I think the Democrats are going to pull something wild out of the hat. Because they know that they, have, they need to have somebody strong to come up against Trump. Do you know what I mean? What is this? I've seen that. This is, a, this is a vision I keep getting. And I'm getting it again. And it looks like, you know, when you're standing in an airport and you're waiting for all the planes to come in, but then it, it's it's like the, the delayed... But it, it, it's actually the stock market and it's like, it's one huge crash. It 
It's like everything will just stop. And it's a moment in time where we'll not even know around the world, like what time it is. It's like everything's just going to stop. Everything's just going to stop. Lights are going to go out. Everything's just going to stop. And then everything will just come back on again. And it's at that time, that's when everything switches over. When I talk about everything switches over, it's this new technology what's been brought into Earth. A new financial system, everything will change. I actually don't believe that America is going to be the lead in for economy into the future. Everything's all a show. Trump used to be a Democrat before he was a Republican. Everything's a movie. Everything's a show. Everything's a label. Politics has been put out there to divide people. Okay. I'd be very, very surprised if Biden runs in the next election. Very, very surprised. So they, they need somebody strong to come in there. I'm getting the initials B O. Okay. Mm, I know I'm wondering. Also, it's going to be big news in around Jill. Uh, Jill Biden. Much for big news and Nancy Pelosi as well. So there's going to be a fall, and it's but it's done on purpose. You've got like I've always said this. You've got the good guys, the bad guys, and they're, you know, they're working up this ladder, and right at the top, they all know what has to happen. And it's like everything's been pulled down and torn down to bring in a new economy and a new financial system, a new way of running things. But it's going to affect the food chain. The biggest thing what's going to hit this planet is banning the plastic. And then there's going to be massive, big, I predict, I mean, I could be looking two years down the line here, but there's going to be a huge thing to do with um, the food chain, a lot of scandals to come out with the food chain. So yes, we do need to prep, but we don't need to panic by. And like I've gone on about recently is that we need to try and go organic if we can, if you're lucky enough to, or if you're not lucky enough to buy organic, you can wash your vegetables and things in um, baking soda, you know, under the water and that, and that does help to get rid of toxins off stuff. But we can only do our best, do you know what I mean? But just be aware what they're putting in meat. Hormones and things like that. So don't, when you're, when you're stocking up a mat, you know, don't go buying a load of unhealthy stuff. Just try to think of what's healthy for your family and that. What's that saying? Quality better than quantity. quality better than quantity dried beans and stuff like that you know what I mean things that you can will not go off things like that always look at the sell by dates when you're buying stuff as well but yeah there's going to be a problem and there could be a problem with getting food into other countries because I see cargo ships getting blocked but then this is when Australia is going to come in because Australia is going to take the lead with something. And I'm also getting Malaysia. I've had this before. The Philippines. They're going to play a big part here. There's a new system. A new bridge of economy. A new bridge of food trade. It's We're not just talking about... Is it BRICS? 
in the other one, this is something else. And it's going to tear everything down and it's going to, it's got a blue sign. It's for the future. I'm not sure if it's yellow and green as well. And it's going to bring in a new system. And it's for new earth. So when they talked, when they, you know, there was Brexit here in the UK. And I said that this is just part of the process because it needs to happen. But there'll be another economy globally to come in. They'll be trading. They'll be trading from the United States of America to the UK. Everything's going to change after this block. Because all these different countries are all fighting for power. The Middle East, it's going to kick off in the Middle East. And I'm seeing Putin's face. East to east. East to east. But really the West is in the middle. But you have to let the bad guys play out to help it all tumble down. Does that make sense? Land is the way forward if you can get land and then you can grow your vegetables. This is why a lot of the millionaires are buying out land and, you know, I do believe that the way forward. Anything to do with online is going gonna, is gonna to boom as well. Uh, not everybody can get into crypto, you know, um, but all you can do is just try your best. Try your best. Don't panic. Don't panic. Everybody will be fine. <coughs> Everybody will be fine. What was that I seen about the dolphins? Oh, I'm seeing these lovely dolphins in the sea, and it's like they can't get that the oxygen. I don't know if it's oil in the water or something. There's going to be an explosion. Something about saving the dolphins, guys. Such a cruel world. But yeah, I'm worried about the sea tonight. I see it really dark. I see it really gloomy. Is an empath. I'm, I want to send like healing out to the sea. I see like stealths in the air and are taken off. Explosion. Then I'm seeing China. Remember everything I'm telling you. It'll all fall into place there. Big news coming in around Bill Gates as well. I don't know what that is. Things are not what they seem. You know. And I want to say nobody's immune. Nobody's immune. We are all walking our individual path. And we just have to try our best. But this big news coming in around him. And I don't know what it is. But it doesn't seem very good. I've seen this before where it's late at night and it's outside of a big house. I'm not seeing this as a mar -a <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it could be another big house, like a mansion. But it does look awfully like mar -a But there's going to be arrests. But it's not mar -a It's linked with Trump, but it's not mar -a Like some golf club or something. Lots of wood. A r There's going to be reeds. More reeds to come. More reeds to come. Who is that guy? Is he called Sergio or something? Is is a Russian uh, Russian descent? Whiz on computers. He's going to go big with something. Is it Sergio or something like that? I'm getting that guy. New internet to come in, new internet. The 21st will bring in some huge news. Ocean problems. They're talking about it on the news. Global warning, they're giving us that as well. Mass something massive about that. There'll be th dark horses running through the UK. I love black horses. 
I've decided I want a, I want a black beauty. I want to get a baby black horse. I love the advert. Is it for? Is it Barclays? We've got a British advert where the girl jumps in the water as she goes to swim. And she's swimming and all these black horses come running along the bank. And she's swimming as they're running along the bank. I love that. Is it Lloyd's? Oh God, I, I well up when I say that. I love that advert. But no, I'm saying like black horses state funeral. It's a Lloyd's advert, isn't it? And I'm seeing it in the UK, but I'm also seeing, I'm not sure if it's two state funerals in the US as well. Yeah, it could be Bedminster Golf Club. They're, they're, they're going to do another raid. They're going to they're gonna keep going and going and going and going. The decay hasn't come to a peak yet. Do you know what I mean? In talking about black horses, then I'm seeing Kim Jong-un and he's standing on a white horse. When it all kicks off, he'll be on a white horse again, somewhere in the mountains over there. The royal family, let's see. Well, I can, I'm going to get my cards out because that's getting a bit heavy. So is there anything else? We must not worry about tomorrow. We are living in very crazy times on earth, guys. We really, really are. But you are magical, spiritual beings. That's it. Sergi, you got Davidov or something, yes. Something big coming in with him in Damascus. Remember, remember the two of them. We're spiritual beings and we are magical beings. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, this eclipse, but it's more spiritual downloads. But there will be something from this eclipse which could affect weather events, crazy stuff in politics, because it affects people, because we're all like 60% water. Do you know what I mean? So it affects people's energies. Uh, but I'm getting it's rolling off from the 8th. It's coming in, in up into the 12th. You know, even onwards a week after. Could be cyber attacks. But... Tomorrow, I, I just feel it's like, I get ease. It's the only way I can describe it. For the collective, I'm getting ease. I'm not seeing like UFOs bursting out the sky or anything dramatic happening like a Mars attack. Or um, I do get a worry for terrorism because I talked about that at the beginning of this stream and I got New York, there could be problems. There could also be high alert into the UK as well. But tomorrow I'm not getting much. I'm not getting much. So I'm just going to put that down there again. Wait a minute. I'll do some more exercises. See, I can straighten that arm, but I can't straighten that arm. You see what I mean? This is a problem. But never mind. I'm going to the hospital in the morning and then I'll be getting it checked out. LG, what's with all the trumpet and noises being heard around the world? I'll get me cards. 
Yeah, I'm keeping doing the exercises, guys. Is it buffering? Can you hear us? Give us a five five if you can hear us. Good, good. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Louise, if you look lymph nodes from that armpit, you will have a scar tissue forming there. Aye. It's been quite a painful situation. I mean, I've had worse pain, I must admit. You know, it's like, it sounds worse than what it is. I've had worse pain, tooth abscesses, kidney pain, the stones, that was nasty. I think anything near your brain is worse, isn't it? Like tooth, migraines, all of that. I've had worse pain. But it's it's just uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? Just have to stretch it, keep it limber, yeah. No, I don't have any um, abscesses or anything like that. Right, what is these trumpeting noises? My cats have gone quiet, haven't they? Trumpeting noises, please give us a true answer. They've gone very quiet. They must have fallen back asleep. Yeah, people are feeling it, aren't they? Ho, ho, ho. Mamma mia. Right, okay. So we're getting really agitated. Whoops. The sound engineer, I'll go and see where she is in a minute. And we're feeling it. We're, we're getting affected. Like I say, this spiritual ascension is about working within. We have to do our own inner work. A um, lot of events to come off. A lot of big changes to take place, like I've like confirming. Um, there will be many who will fall, but we will be okay. It's about we're all sticking together. These are the children, the little babas coming into New Earth now, the children being born. And they, they're ready for this new earth. So we will go on. I don't believe that the world is going to end. It's the, it's the end of the world is what we know. But something massive is taking place. We've got this strength card here. We are strong. Because we've all assigned to come here at this time on earth. To witness great changes. But what has taken place is angelic. There's the angel with the trumpet. Now look what the angels got. They've got the England flag. What they're trying to ban. It's Judgment Day. That's huge. I'm going to pull some more cards out on that. It is extraterrestrial angelic. It's not coming from Earth. We're taking back our power. I've got a little Satchel here. Oh, he's so cute. We have to take back our power. We haven't got to worry. I'm going to ask Satchel, Satchel, is there any way that some of these noises could be from the, the UFO, UFOs? Yes. It's huge what's taking place at the minute. Huge new financial system. There's a lot of deceit what's being stirred up. 
coming out. But we're going to have to um, look after our own, our family, our friends, our neighbours. Could be a bit of a tight one. I mean, it's, it's I hate being the bearer of good, bad news, but it could go on all year. Do you know what I mean? So we could have a bad winter this year. There could be crazy weather by. Well, I think well, I predict we're going to have heat waves this summer. Bad winter. They're stewing it up. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. It's like things are breaking. It's all breaking. It's all happening. Don't they look like the monoliths? Can you see them? There's the hounds and the... Strange activity coming from the moon. I mean, it's questionable what is the moon. I believe that there is moon bases up there and there's technology coming from the moon to Earth. I've actually remote viewed and gone in and seen... I looked in and I seen human legs. So there's humans there, but there's also extraterrestrial being. I'd seen this and she was at this, looked like a computer screen, looking down onto Earth. But they were doing things, you know. They were doing things there. It's like a secret base up there. Things are getting awakened and we are the spirit beings who are back in our meat suits. And it could be somebody out there who we do not even know. It could be just a normal guy walking along the street in Egypt. But we are where we need to be. But I want to say the main, there is main parts of earth which are being awakened and reopened. And I am getting something about the main pyramid. But it takes certain people with certain energies to open these. It doesn't mean it's a famous person. But there is things happening. And it's happening. Where's that card gone? As above and below. It's happening. There's the ocean again behind. So we've incarnated back here. For whatever reason, some people have come back as stabilizers, lighthouses to hold the light. We all play our part on earth. And some people have come back to do major tasks here. And I want to say all the main beings who have been here before are back here now. My understanding is Jesus is here now. They're all here now. It's huge. It's an um, important time on earth. We have to keep our close loved ones by us as this shift takes place. And I'm, I don't know why I'm getting lovers. I'm getting lovers in relationships as we start to grow and ascend. Sometimes the, I'll do a video on this at some point, how it can affect relationships. Is there going to be a rise of divorce? Infidelity? The snake's loose. I think there's going to be a lot of things what's going to pop up this year. We are finding out who our soul family is through this ascension. And not everybody wants to be in a relationship. Because your way is the right way. Does that make sense? Your way is the right way. 
you know, it's written that we meet somebody, we fall in love, we move in and we get married. Why? Because society says, no, you just do it your way. I've got a couple what come and see me for readings. They've been coming for a while and they've been happily married for 40 years, but they live separately. They've got their own houses and they come together when they want to be together and then they go back apart again. It works for them. You do it your way. I think there's going to be a new understanding on relationships as well and boundaries. I look at this card here. We've got seven in here. Is that seven? Yeah, it's Latin. Believe it or not, I did do that at school. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I would say that there's seven surprises to come to earth this year within our society. And for humanity but there's a snake in this as well I'm just going on my intuition tonight with these cards guys that's the Oscars so I would say that and I'm going to put Hollywood in that I think there's a lot of surprises to come out there's the snake there he's on the loose old Lucifer and we are being affected. It's a mind psyop, so we have to keep grounded. But that's a big surprise for humanity right in the middle. Can you see it? It looks like a ghost, doesn't it? Like you would draw a ghost as a kid. <clears throat> You've got a tower there, what's going to fall? Big industries, what's going to fall? This is luck. You've got luck there. And I believe that we are taking back our power. And that's why the media plays a part in lowering our, lowering, lowering our vibration. Then you've got social media comes in on that. There's going to be a restriction that looks like a gargoyle or something. A restriction on humanity. Because these are things that are going to try and pull out the heart. Some of it's good and some of it's bad. But there's gifts within these. That is a gift there. It's a lucky horseshoe. I don't know what that is there. I'm going to say that the food chain is going to break. There's a lot of things. What's going to happen? Let's pull some more cards out on that. Gargoyles can be protectors as well as not. But I'm getting a restriction as I looked at that. It's all about to come down, but then it's all going to turn good. Because where you've got the tower, it has to happen. But what's coming in is the sun. I'm getting that song, The Year of Aquarius, is it? I'm getting that song. Polar Opposites. We're taking back our power. I know that's the page of swords, but we're taking back our power. And the red boots is like grounded. We're keeping grounded. Sovereignty. We've got our sword in my hand. We're taking back our power. It's new beginnings. Like, you know, I've been going on about Vikings for a while now. And it's like we're all finding, we're, we're, we're getting to be Vikings and warriors. And we are protecting our land and our families and... There will be problems and restrictions, but it's temporary. I'm going to pull some cards out on the royal family. I feel Queen Wanda here, she's just put, do you feel there'll be civil war for Canada? People are starting to get very angry. I believe that will be close to it. 
like it will be in the UK, in France. But it won't be as bad as it will be for the United States. Does that make sense? Right, I will see. I'm going to look into this. Damn me. Okay. Without being all doom and gloom, I don't feel Charles is going to be on the throne for long. <clears throat> I'm never told when someone's going to pass. I'm never told. But I don't get a good vibe. I think he'll step down. But you've got to look. I mean, the, all these people that I'm looking into are oldish people anyway. But I believe he'll step down and I believe that there'll be a coronation. But the coronation is being put on hold because of what's happening with Kate. I think Kate's Kate's going to be all right. She's got a good chance. And it is really happening to her. But I think Charles, Charles looked good. He's been out and about and he was out for the Easter. He made an appearance and all of that. But he's tired and weary. Princess Anne. I'm getting Princess Anne. I don't know if she would step in for a while. But the royal family will go on. And I do believe William will be crowned king. That's what I predict. Um, but there will be problems. More problems to come with Charles's health. Kate's going to be okay. I believe she'll be fine. There's a lot of yellow and angelic energy around her, a lot of love, a lot of support. Um, I believe she's mass, I mean, they're all massively in organic stuff anyway, because King Charles is, but I think that she is, massively looking researching and doing a lot of stuff like that she's tired spending time in the garden with her children her family William they're still together I believe there's been problems but I believe they'll be all right but she's she's in good hands she's got good doctors um, someone here, Catman, has just have, do you have a timeline for William taking the crown? Actually not, I don't. And I'll tell you why. It's down to fate. It'll be a sudden, it'll come suddenly. Like it did with Kate's announcement. It'll come suddenly. <coughs> Maybe some rumours. It's definitely going to happen, but it will be all right. I'm not going to say that he's going to suddenly pass. I don't. I'm not, I don't like saying that. But he'll suddenly. There'll be a sudden announcement. Is it like it would be retirement? Would it? It could be, or it could be where he's stepping down. Because I think he's struggling with lots of engagements at the minute. You got to understand, he's in his seventies. Do you know what I mean? But again, he's in good hands. Um, let's see if I can get some timings. Resigns. Abdicate. I don't know what it would be, would it? Does anybody know what that word would be? Then I'm going to look into Harry and Meghan. Big news coming in with Princess Beatrice. So I don't know what that is. The magician. Ooh, um, well, the cards are saying it could be within a month, but I don't know. I want to say that there's some big news coming out with the royal family within a month. <coughs> That's what I'm going to say. But it could also be to do with politics as well. And that could also be the US as well. I don't know why I'm jumping back to that again. He 
He's fine. He's just tired. He's tired. But he's bound to be tired if he's whatever he's been given. It's all been too much for him. But I do get a good I get a good feeling tonight for Kate. I think she's there's hope there for Kate. I'm not saying that he's going to abdicate within a month, but there'll be some news within a month, big news. But I want to see, if not by November into the early part of next year, there will be announcements of abdication or something big around Charles. End of the year, no later, October, November, into the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year. I do predict that Harry will come back to the UK somehow. I don't feel that the marriage between Harry and Meghan's good. I think he's got a lot of regrets, Harry. A lot of regrets. I don't get a good vibe with Megan tonight and I can't put my finger on what it is. I think what I'm picking up on is it's between the pair of them. I think he's got regrets there. There's been a lot of manipulation, a lot of bullying. But he still wrote the book, didn't he? The question is, did Megan give a hand in this? Possibly yes. But they've been playing out their karmic path for a long, long time. It's a karmic relationship that he's in with her. Um, but I don't believe that they'll, they'll stay together. I believe that she'll fight and she'll keep her children. It's the children what's keeping them together. Mm. There's scandals to come out there with them too. A lot more scandals. I think there's a great sadness with Harry and I think it's how he feels. Don't forget Harry and Kate and William were very close before Meghan come along. Um, and I believe, I don't know if this is true, that Princess Diana's ring was in Harry's possession and he gave it to William to give to Kate. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if anybody knows any... I, I watched that somewhere. I watched it. Um, but I think he's got a great sense of guilt there. I think he's very sad that he's, he's out of the loop with all of this. Let's hope that they'll get back at some point, but at the minute I don't see that. But where there's been rumours out there and people have said, oh, he's going to end up being the next King of England, it's, it's that's not going to happen. It'll be William. It'll definitely be William. But how I'm picking up tonight, how Harry feels is that he's sad because he was very fond of Kate at one point. So it's true that the ring was left to Harry and Harry gave it to William to give to Kate. Yeah, because they used to hang out together. They were really close and Kate was really close to Harry, wasn't he? Wasn't you? Don't forget Harry had a lot of problems, you know what I mean? And 
she sort of like took him underneath her wing like that big sister supporting him and that they were all very close then it all went upside down didn't it I believe there's a lot more scandals to come out with Megan. But I think that um, Harry's always been jealous of William anyway. You know, spelt, privileged, whatever you want. You know what I mean? When he's moaned on about things, sharing a room and... Or having this smaller room or something. But is this is that not what siblings go through anyway? Do you know what I mean? I believe somehow he'll get back into the UK, but not yet. I think that anything big to come out with them two is gonna come out by the end of no later than the end of the year. But I think that, I think he's truly heartbroken and he can't, his brother won't listen to him now or Kate won't listen to him now. There was a lot of nasty things said and it's, everything what was put out there, I think there was a lot more said. I think he's caused a lot of hurt in the family. Yes, Nola. Now don't knock off the thing. Do you want to say Hi. Are you happy with your mousey? Um, I can see eventually Meghan Markle going off with somebody in Hollywood. <coughs> somebody famous. That's what I feel anyway. She's getting so big. She's such a good girl. Yeah, so... It's really quite sad, really. But that's Harry. He's the king of wands. Have you noticed how he's got? He's upside down at the minute. He's got the red hair. He's not very happy at the minute. He acts a lot on emotions as well. Do you know what I mean? And Megan would have been able to trigger them as well. Obviously, if she's in that relationship, there'll be trigger points and negative attachments and all of that. But I hope that's helped there, guys. I'm off. I've been on for nearly two hours. Whoops. <laughs> um, I need to... Um, I want to say don't panic about tomorrow. The world's not going to end. The world is definitely not going to end. But watch for dramas to take place. And I would say it's more from the 12th onwards. From the 12th onwards if not into the following week. Oh, if you could see her now, she's lying on my appointment book with her legs in the air, being a hussy, because you're not going outside and you're not getting your boyfriend. Aren't you not? Beautiful girl. Can you hear her pairing, guys? So I'll be on soon again and I'll um, keep you updated on the findings and uh, I'm off to get my pyjamas on. Do you want to say bye? Now, don't knock the stream off. Go on, baby. <laughs> you're not going out. You're not going to go outside, TC. No, no, TC. Where's your sister gone? But I'm off to get ready for bed, and I'm at the hospital in the morning. And um, yeah, just be strong, guys, and just just don't worry about anything. It's all good stuff. What's happening? Good night, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Now, how do you get out of here? I don't want to leave you, so I've got 1,008 viewers in. <laughs> the world's not going to end, all right? It's going to get more interesting, but the world's not going to end. Watch this space. I'll see you soon. Bye now. <laughs>